good morning good morning good morning welcome back to my channel my name is Sika Gold and I am your virtual sister from another mother uh, and I'm so happy that you're watching this video today so here is a little life update it's been a long 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 hot minute that I posted anything and it's because of what has been happening behind the scene your girl has a lot a lot going on um i can't say it all because i try as much as i can to share what needs to be shared and keep to myself what needs to be protected and kept to myself however there are some pretty other interesting things i can let you in on for example um during the time i was on mat leave i came across this um, program that the government offered um that was interesting and it was offered for free and you know i'm a sucker for knowledge i'm a sucker for information um so yeah i signed up for it and i got accepted into the program so i was dealing with um with school with um taking care of the home and taking care of other things that i have going on and taking care of my family Pfft. listen if you know my family you will know that we need a whole we need a whole kardashian type show because there's a lot of drama <laughs> happening <laughs> but it's fun drama it's good drama drama we learn from and stuff like that so your girl is uh, almost done with school. Um, it's just something, what, what, hold on, how do I call it? Like something extra to add to my education, to, you know, add value to myself because anything mental health, anything addiction, anything counseling, therapy, I'm in it. That's why I call myself your virtual sister. Because sometimes I might tell you things that you don't agree with. But that are good for you. And good for me. And vice versa. Because even a, therapy needs a, th even a therapist needs a therapist. You know. Uh, it might not be a formal therapist. But when the therapist goes home, honey. It could be the husband. It could be the wife. It could be the children. It could be the sister. She needs another person to kind of remove the weight that clients might have put on her though on her or him for the whole day so here's a little life update when it concerns like when in, in regards to my school or to my education to my career and all of that um, i feel and i know that getting more educated is going to help me to cater to the people around me better hopefully Hopefully, I'm an asset to them and not a liability. So that's that. On another side, though, who spiritually, girl, you know, have been um, um, trying to bring to life the songs that the Holy Spirit is just giving me, and it, it has not been easy trying to gather the team for rehearsal and stuff. But if you know me, girl you know i'm a worshiper i am i cannot do this life without god i don't care what people tell me there's no god there's no whatever feel free please to believe um what you want to believe and allow me to believe in whom i choose to believe i have never seen someone who believed in god and regretted it i know sometimes when we deal with situations in our lives we're like god where are you you know, how can you allow this to happen to me? Why would you even allow it to happen to me? If you were watching over me, there would not be any disaster. If you listen, listen, God is God. And the Bible says that he shows mercy to whom he wants. So if he chooses to show me mercy, good, I'm lucky, I'm blessed. But if he chooses not to, I'm okay. You know, that reminds me of the story of Abraham. You know, in the Bible, uh, Abraham was like 100 years old or something, like over 100, and his wife was like 99 or 90-something. 
years old and God promised them a child, the child of the promise. And Abraham was later asked by the same God to give that same child as an offering, as a sacrifice unto him. And when Abraham was about to slaughter the child, God says, please don't do it. Now I know that you love me, Pasia, Seth. But you know, while I was listening and meditating on that verse, I asked myself, God, can you please give me the same heart that Abraham had? You know why? Because sometimes we hold on to the same things God himself gave to us. If God gave me the job and he wants to take away his job, let it be. He is God. He can do whatever he wants to do. But guess what? It will not be to my demise. It will not be to to ruin me i know going through the process is hard going through the process is difficult but i trust this god enough to carry me like saying i'm my matter in the handle you know i trust this god enough to make sure that he who gave me the life will be able to see me through anything i could be going through so i i want the same heart abraham had i don't want to hold on to my career i don't want to hold on to what is uh what god is asking me for basically i want to have that kind of free heart so god if you want it please take it who am i anyways who am i who am i anyway that's on the spiritual side and if you're living in the city of uh, vancouver surrey burnaby langley white rock if you're watching me you're right here in the province of bc i and my team are organizing a concert an end of the year concert it's a christmas kind of concert so but it's titled gratitude and the, the the spirit behind that concert is just so we come together and thank him Thank him in a way you have never done before. Thank him in a way that he will look down on us and be so proud of us, of the worship we're offering, that he will go beyond measure to make sure we are well taken care of all around, in our families, our jobs, our careers, our anything we endeavor to do, really. I just want, do you know the power of worship? Going to church isn't just about hearing the word. The Bible says we're going to worship up in there. Like, so we we might as well just practice now, you know, and just delight and sit in the worship that this God so enjoys. Um, yeah, that's that. I have a single coming out soon. By the grace of God, a few of you have heard it. And I hope it blessed you. I really do hope it blessed you. And I pray that my songs keep a blessing one person because a message is not for everybody. It could just be for that one person that God is trying to bring onto himself, you know. Uh, so, yeah, that's that on the spiritual level. Uh, I have to also admit that because, you know, my leave is over and there's so many things I had to resume immediately after. Like around June, July, my life became so, so so scattered that's the word things just kept happening back to back to back yo back to back dealing with school dealing with this dealing with practicum dealing with dealing with the family the the, the, the extra work the the child care that i just had to secure and the guilt that oh my god you know, who am I leaving my child for? And, and there's a lot that goes beyond this camera. There's a lot. Um, you know, I question myself a lot sometimes if I am the one putting that unnecessary pressure on myself. But I pray that God gives me the wisdom because I can plan all I want. I can work all I want. I can school all I want, but if it's not done according to what God wants me to do, it is useless. I, I texted on my, I posted on my status the other day that speed in the wrong direction is very useless. Very, very useless. That's why I can't and I refuse to do this life without God because He is just my guide. 
And you know, the Bible says that there's nothing new under the sun. So the trauma or the depression or whatever, the anxiety you are going through, honey, someone has gone through it before. But if we read the Bible, that is like a life coach to us. We will discover how to deal with situations that come our way. And as a virtual sister, trust me, I need that reminder too sometimes. The videos I make, or even I used to make, is not for you. Let me fix this wig. I think like it's... It, you know, I, I need that reminder to myself because the videos I make or the videos I used to make, sometimes I go back to them and listen to them and take advice from myself because I need it. I need that, that reminder, that boost, that boost, that boost, that boost. That is why, again, let me remind us, the Bible says, seek ye first the kingdom of God and every other thing will be added unto us. So... For things, excuse me, for things as little as, um, Lord, what should I do in terms of my career? Seek the kingdom. Because you will be more effective in God. What in what God wants you to do. That's hubby calling in today is his birthday, so give me a minute. <laughs> yeah, so, yeah, that's, that's that on the spiritual level. So now, Mary Telly, how have I been doing? Hmm. Michael is still a great husband as usual. <laughs> um, but if you know him, you know he's a hard working man. Hard working man. I can't emphasize that enough. Um, and every effort he puts out there for the family is really appreciated. Very much appreciated. So he's, he's out and about grinding, you know, making the money I'm not seeing, you know. I'm telling him that if I don't see you now, let me see your money now, show. Bros, both of you cannot just be gone. You see that or? <laughs> but, <laughs> but no, he's a hardworking man and he works a lot. His work is taking him um, to different towns, different cities. Um, but I'm okay. Uh, any minutes, I pray. He's always within reach. He's always within reach. You know, he's, he's, he's a phone call away. He is a phone call away. He, he would never mind giving everything up and taking the plane back or the boat back or the ferry back, you know. He won't, he won't mind at all. And yeah, we're, we're good, we're good. We're good. We good. It could be better, you know, us maybe in an, on an island somewhere, enjoying the sun, you know. Um, but yeah, it's good. Now as a mother, guys i won't lie to you it's a process a journey that i will forever be in um however sometimes i wish i could just do better but hey hey nobody comes with a manual i do the best i can so help me god as long as i'm doing things the god way as much as possible i will be fine but on the brighter note though um if you're watching this video till this minute, there's something I would like to tell parents to please, please, please. I don't know if it's something we can do. I feel like from 13 year old, from 13 years old, parents should make a counselor available for our kids. It could be a family member. It could be someone who is non-judgmental, but somebody who can really guide the kids you know because there's a lot going in their heads right now the world is not what it used to be before it is no longer a safe space um and you know it's not everything i told my mom there are some part of me my mom doesn't know and will probably never know because this is not just the type of discussion you have with them you know but to make sure that our kids are guarded are protected and are guided I feel like a counselor should be introduced to a kid, like a coach, a life coach. That's why I call myself your virtual sister. Listen, I will start that practice very, very, very soon to tell these young children that what you see online sometimes is not the truth. Though. Look at what is happening beyond, behind the scene. No, just coach them, teach them out of love out of love because 
I have done this. I have been there. I don't want you making the same mistakes I made. Though, because people learn differently, people might actually learn better from making their own mistakes. So if this is what it is, you just have to let it be. Because we each have different journeys. And even for the child, we need to acknowledge what their journey is. I don't know why I'm always brought back to the scripture. Yeah. Remember the story of Zachariah in the Bible. So Zachariah and his wife waited a long time to, to conceive a boy. However, when the word of God came that he was going to, you know, father a child, the Holy Spirit said, you have to name your child John. You know, maybe back in the days they wanted to name him Zachariah Jr. or <laughs> Zachariah 2.0, Zachariah 1 or Zach whatever the name was. But Zachariah is somebody with a specific journey. The child you're giving birth to is another human. It's another entity with a different journey. Even if the names are the same, we each have our journeys. And we have to respect those choices, those decisions people make. Because the most we can do is coach them, show them the right way. According to Proverbs, do you know that's why Proverbs is there? Teaching us, look like, here is a mistake somebody made and here's how it ended for the person. Don't do that. That's all. It's not because we don't want you to have fun. It's not because we don't want you to enjoy yourself, to, you know, uh, have a good time as a young person. No, it's not the case at all. It's just because everything has consequences, be it good or bad. And we have to be okay with that because such is life. Such is life. So, um, we our kids have different journeys and we can coach them and pray for them. And teach them what we know teach them how to be better people teach them how to be assets to people around them and not liabilities is very important because if you're adding if you're a burden it's no good now but if you are uh, you know like a, a problem solver a, a, a help in one area or the other you, you'll be fine you know you'll be good so if you can as a parent, if you can afford it, pay for a counselor. I'm a little scared um, because even choosing a counselor, us as parents, we need to be prayerful about it because you don't want to take your kid to somebody that will go and tell them that it's okay to, to, to take drugs. Or if you are feeling a little anxious, you can take dopamine or you can meth, meth, meth or you know um no you don't you don't you don't you don't want that so it has to be a godly good-hearted life coach that you introduce to your child work on it pray about it i'm still praying about it. it's just an idea that came to me um trying to limit some damages that are being done uh, and now that social media is out there it's easier for the young children to easily uh be misled and we don't want that we want to protect them we want to shield them from what's out there um so yeah i don't know if there's any other update that i need to give you but if you have any question for me please 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 feel free to leave it down below and i will be so so excited to um answer the question um 2022 is a great year coming every year is a great year um, but let us aspire to be better people than we were yesterday. Um, and so help us God. So hi, this is it. This is it. You could go with your virtual sister coming back slowly, but surely I hope I can drop at least two videos for you per week. I'm working on that. I work, I work, I work, I work, I work, I work on that. So pray for me, pray for your sister. Let's do stuff together. If you have any suggestion, your girl's open to it. But in the meantime, God bless you. God protect you. I love you. I love you. I hope you're making the world around you a better place. Bye.